Okay, sending you a Pietro poster every day until you log on. Day number 18? I think. I'm pretty sure it's day number 18. Anyway, yeah, sending you a Pietro poster every day until you log on. Day 18. Alright, Ryan. Here you go. <laughs> there we go. Oh, hey, uh, didn't, didn't see you there. <laughs> uh, Ryan, check your mail. <laughs> uh, okay, so anyway, um, back in April, I did a town tour video. Um, and, well, uh, <laughs> my town's kind of a mess at the moment. This is, like, island layout number four, I think. I think I'm on, like, the fourth iteration of my island. I had completely torn it down, um, I'm redoing the entire thing, so at some point once this is done I'm going to do a full tour video, but it's been a while since I've had like any real New Horizons content on the channel, and in the last tour video, my house was kinda trash, but my house is no longer kinda trash, so we're gonna do a quick tour, and that's gonna be it for now. And stay tuned for the full island tour coming up probably in, well, how many hours do I have in this game? Like, I, like the other day I, I passed 700 hours into this game, so I'm expecting to be done with my island, or not completely done, but like, any state that I want to present it within like 100 to 200 hours probably. <laughs> so, it's gonna be a while, but we got this, so let's go check out my house, which... I'm gonna be moving, I just have it here for now, but <laughs> it's fine. So I'm actually very happy with how my house turned out. I was kind of expecting there to not really be too many things I wanted to do with my house just because there's so little furniture sets in this game, but I found a way to get pretty creative. Um, each of my rooms have very different vibes as... <laughs> We will see shortly, but here is my uh, entrance room, and <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm a very big fan of visual humor, so I found like the, the wet floor sign in the nook shop, and then I thought to myself, wait a minute, I have a recipe for a wet floor, <laughs> so yeah, here is my, uh, my, my wet floor joke room, you know, watch your step. I love how, like, the the floor splashes when you walk over it. I think that's a really neat detail. Like, one of my favorite things in this game that they've added are, like, the interactive or the, um, the moving flooring and wallpapers. I think those are really, really neat. Um, especially, like, the... This is a really cool, like, rainy city one. I don't have that in my house at the moment, but I do have it in storage. So, yeah, uh, we got the, the visual humor main entrance room. Which I'm probably not going to end up changing, even though there's literally nothing in here besides the joke. But I'm fine with that. I like it. <laughs> so next up we have the haunted room. And I don't currently have the audio on my TV going because I don't want it to go through my mic. But the song playing is Hypno KK. Um... I had another haunted room in New Leaf, which, uh, if I have images, I'll put them on the screen right now to compare. Uh, I kind of prefer that room to this one. This game doesn't really have any of the spooky furniture at the moment. Um, in the New Leaf room, I put a coffin behind the bookshelves, and I thought that was kind of neat. Um, so if you, like, turn the camera, you, you could see that little secret Easter egg. But for now, I think this is pretty good. Uh, I'm excited for whatever the Halloween event is, because I'm assuming they're going to bring back a lot of that furniture and stuff, because I would love the coffin. I would love the skeleton. Uh, like, not like the not like the standing skeleton that's currently in the game, like the, like the pile of bones. But I've always been a fan of paranormal things, even though I don't necessarily really believe in a lot of paranormal things. Um, just the idea of it is just fascinating to me, like... Like, aliens and ghosts and that kind of stuff. It's just entertaining. Um, I haven't had any experiences, personally. But I just, I just like it, you know? This kind of reminds me of, like, the Haunted Mansion at Disney a little bit. I would love to have that, uh, like, Haunted Grandfather Clock item that was in New Leaf. 
I think it was in the, some of the older games too. I didn't. I, New Leaf was my first Animal Crossing game, so I'm unsure. But yeah, this this is this is pretty good for now. I think uh, I'm I'm happy with how this turned out. And of course, we have the organ from the wedding event, which wasn't a great event. I kind of forgot about it until the very end. I was like, oh, yeah, I should probably try to get some of that furniture. And I'm glad I did because I think the organ fits pretty well in here. So, moving on to the top room. So, up here I have a, like, spa slash bathroom. Um, definitely has a very heavy Japanese aesthetic with, like, the paper walls. Like, I, I didn't want to put too many items on the walls because, I'm like, I'm pretty sure in real life these sorts of walls are made out of, like, paper. Uh, so I didn't really see how that would work even though you can do it in this game like I'm trying to think of how it w would work in like real life if this was like an actual house or like an actual room in a house um so yeah I have stuff like where the paper isn't like a touch of the wood like the cherry blossom wall clock right there but yeah this room looks really nice at night too um it's like it's like very like faint like pink hue coming from the cherry blossom lamps, which is really really nice and relaxing. Um, I have the cloud flooring underneath the uh, mats, which I put down. Uh, I've seen a lot of people do that with different rooms, where they have the cloud flooring underneath because it creates a fog effect, and then they just put like carpets and stuff over it. And I think that's really really smart. People have been really creative with like the like. I don't want to say lack of items in this game, because there definitely are quite a few items, and they're really cool. But there's definitely a lot of stuff missing from this game at the moment, which I'm assuming they're going to be adding, like, throughout the course of the game's life. Um, but yeah, even with, like, the very minimal furniture sets, people have done some really amazing things in this game. And I, I, I just love seeing how creative people can get. But a lot of people have been making, like, bathhouses like this, or, like, spas. And I kind of wanted, a ba like, a dedicated bathroom in my house, because I... Uh, like, the thing with me is... I think, of, I think of how my house would function if I were to live here in real life. So I kind of want all of the amenities. Um, so, like, a bedroom, a bathroom, a place to cook food... I think the only thing I'm really missing is like a washing machine, but other than that, my house seems very livable at the moment, which is good. Um, and I even have a little guest room, which we are going to be checking out right now. So, um... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so here is my guest room. Um... Oh, jeez. Uh, I don't know where to start with this one. But... <laughs> I, I've been told that the longer you look at this room, the worse it gets. <laughs> but, uh... I, yeah, I don't know what inspired me to make this room, but, like... Got, got like, a camera up there. Um, but there's a, lot of, there's a lot of visual storytelling in this room, so... L l let's, let's break it down. L let's break this room down. So... We have the cage, which is where Pietro lives. Um, who's online? Ooh, Lisa's online, cool. Uh, so yeah, we have, this is where Pietro lives. He's got a nice, like, little hay bed. He's got a really weird-looking stuffed animal. Um, he has a food bowl. He's got a little cockroach friend down there. He's got a bucket. Uh, I, I didn't want to give him an actual toilet, so that's where he relieves himself. Uh, we got the maid dress, and, and that that's that's where it gets really weird. Like, you see the maid dress, and then you see the tissue boxes, which, um, I don't really want to explain, but we also have an ironing board for the maid dress. Oh, it's like a little puff of smoke, that's cool. Or, or steam. Uh, and then it gets kind of smelly in here, so I have little little incense dispenser or whatever you call it. Uh, yeah, weird vibes in this room, definitely. And the song this playing is called "I Love You." 
So, make of this room what you will. Please don't take it seriously. <laughs> this is completely ironic. Th like, okay, I could have put literally any other villager in the background, and it would have been weird. It would have been really weird, but the fact that it's the clown. Like, th this is- this is all ironic, like, pl please- <laughs> please trust me on that. Um, if we flip the camera around, I have- <laughs> I have, like, all the home awards. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, um So yeah, we got two more rooms left. You got the basement and the upstairs. I'm going to warn you, the basement isn't any better than the guest room. The upstairs is fine. The upstairs is perfectly normal. The basement, however, is a little suspect. <laughs> uh so yeah, this is where I um Monitor my islanders if you want to <laughs> call it that. Um, I should have put a box of tissues here. Then never mind. Never. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, I have all of my villagers here. I have some villagers that I don't have anymore. Like um, uh, I don't have Coco anymore. I don't have Marshall anymore. I wanted to like even out the posters, but there was way more spaces than like 10. Like I could fit more than 10 villagers here. So, you know, I, I just had Coco here for now. I, I had Marshall at one point. He's at my friend's island now, so I'm still keeping a watch on him, I guess. I have Celeste. Uh, Genji is probably going to be leaving because I need a Sudi villager. And then Filbert. I've never had Filbert. Filbert is one of my friend's favorite villagers. And he gave me a Filbert poster. How unfortunate. <laughs> I, I, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Copyright, I'm so sorry I did this to Filbert. Anyway, um, okay, last room. Like I said, this one's really normal. This is probably my favorite room in my house. Um, it's like a little apartment. You know, I got, got a nice little kitchen. I got the stupid kitchenette that took me over 600 hours to obtain. I still, like, okay, I never even, like, I never even got the cutting board recipe for myself. Like, it was given to me by a friend. I, I have not once seen the cutting board recipe, like, in this game. Which is really cool. It's really cool, isn't it? It's great. That's, like, one of my biggest issues with this game, is how the DIY recipes work. But, I finally got the stupid thing. Which is great. See, so yeah, I have my little bedroom over here. Um, I've got my Bob photo up there. Which, I'm really glad... Um, you can customize, like, the border of the photo. Um, cause that color scheme, like, that childlike, toy-like color scheme is what Bob's house looks like. The in like, the inside of his house. Um, it has, like, a playroom aesthetic, so that fits Bob really, really well. And, yeah, he is my absolute favorite villager. Um, I have the little bathroom over here, complete with, uh, kitty litter. Because I apparently have a cat, I guess. Uh, I have a little pet bed here. Which you can sit in, <laughs> which is nice. Uh, the song I was playing is Drive-In. Which was one of the, like, error message songs in New Leaf. Where if you, like, you suggested a KK song that didn't exist. He would play, I think, one of three songs, and Drive-In was one of those songs. And in this in this game, they upgraded it, and it is probably my favorite KK song. Got the Animal Crossing Nintendo Switch, which I do not actually have in real life. Um, I wish you could customize that to look like other Switch models. Because uh, right now, I have, I have a launch day Switch with the gray Joy-Con, but the gray Joy-Con were drifting so bad that I actually, like, couldn't use them anymore, so I got the the really weird purple and orange Joy-Con, which actually look a lot better than I was expecting them to. Like, I, I needed new Joy-Con, I wanted to get the weirdest ones possible, and I actually really like those ones. Um, got the picture of Fauna up there too. Fauna's quickly becoming one of my favorites. Like, I just found her on a mystery island, and I'm very happy. That I have her, and she's she's great. She was the second villager I got the photo for. I still don't have any of the other ones. I'm working on it. 
I'm, I'm thinking like Ketchup or Pietro are next. But yeah, I really like how this room turned out. I love the vibe of it. Um, it's like very, a lot, a lot of plants, a lot of like greens and browns. Like if I had to give advice for making a room, like definitely focus on like two or three colors. Um, so yeah, like lots of, lots of greens and like light browns and s some reds in here. But like, I, I would love to live in this room. Like it has, it has everything you need. Got a bed, got all the kitchen stuff. It's got a bathroom. I tried making the bathroom like closed off, so like you can't really see the toilet all that well if you are at like this angle. Like, like you can't really see into the bathroom. That's what I was trying to go for here, and I think I pulled it off as best as I could. Um, I wish there was like a little door, but that's fine. It's as best as I can do. And I'm very happy with it. So, uh, yeah, I think that's gonna do it for this video. Uh, stay tuned for more New Horizons content in the future at some point, whenever I get my island done. I think the next major video I'm working on is going to be a very in-depth review of New Horizons from the perspective of somebody who has basically sold their soul to Tom Nook. <laughs> so, stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. Take care, everybody, and I hope you stick around. Bye.